I'm Julie Oaks and this is my video on palate and spices. Okay, have you ever gone to a restaurant and you really, really love something that is there and you've tried to recreate it at home? Problem is, you don't really know what was in it. You try to look it up, none of it makes a difference. This is how I started doing that to reproduce things that I really enjoyed out. Okay, first, like this is onion powder. I'm just giving you an example. Smell it. Smell your size. Put your nose in it. Smell it. Really feel what it's doing in the inside of your mouth, how that feels in your mouth tasting. Smell it. Now, the other thing is try it. Okay, don't lick your finger. Stick it in a little bit of water. Knock it off and just barely put it in there. You just want a little bit to try it on. You want to get this everywhere in your mouth because your palate is everywhere. So try it on the front. I don't have a ton of taste in the front anymore because I'm pretty sure I've burnt most of that off in my life. However, I do have a lot in the back. So let it roll around in there. Let it feel it. Smell it. Breathe it in. Try to understand what it is so that you can recognize it if you taste it in something. So you know how to start to recreate something. Do you ever wonder why kids don't like a lot of the same foods we like? Because their palate is so complex because, well, it's still developing. So complex and stupid all at the same time. It's still developing because they're young and they have so many of them. They haven't done any damage to it by overburning them, drinking, smoking, anything you do as an adult. And so everything tastes extremely strong to them. So start out their stuff very, very mild. Slowly start to introduce them to, into it. But do do that. Introduce that into them so that they don't have such a narrow variety of foods that they like to try. It's important to make them try stuff. It's important to make them so that they can experience the wide varieties in food. Also, the other thing is try it. See, put some plastic spoons in a cup. When you start cooking with it and at different stages of spices, try it. Did it taste bitter at the beginning? Did it taste better at the end? Is it bitter in between? Got to do all those kind of things because spices cook differently and they flavor stuff differently. Ever put some spice in something really spicy and it's really hot the first day and you want to eat it the next day and it was pretty mild because it lost its kick. And so things do that kind of stuff. So you have to learn how to re-spice stuff as well. But that's my explanation on palates.